Uh, well, should schools use isolation booths? I don't know. That's your problem. Well, let me get this straight with you. There are lots of things that seem to be going on throughout this whole entire world, but isolation booths are a common thing between schools. And what is an isolation booth, number one? Well, isolation booths are places where students get sent to if their teacher thinks that they've been, let's say, disruptive. There are roughly 200 English schools and 12 schools in Wales and six schools in Scotland that use these isolation booths because their teachers actually think that isolation booths are one of the greatest inventions of all time in schools. Okay, I was exaggerating on that part there, but however, it's kind of the truth because over 200 people are sent at least five straight days into isolation areas in English schools, which is a kind of a bad thing. Uh, oh go to your reputation at least and this is according to and this is according to a BBC investigation and now that that's over let's start with a little uh, talk with the affirmative position shall we now isolation booths are a useful tool to help teachers deal with misbehaving students if a child is sent to an isolation booth it means a lesson won't be disturbed and there's no need to get rid of it completely it's just that better management is needed and how do you propose better management? Eh? Eh? Well, there's nothing that says in that article, so uh, that kind of sucks too. Because there's not really much else to be used other than isolation booths for most teachers to actually uh, get misbehaving students to behave. I've got an answer for that. Take it away altogether and just send them to the principal's office. That actually might work, to be honest. Alright, time for the native position to actually take his views on the thought. Well, the use of isolation booths have gone too far and it is a waste of school time and resources. Because resources are needed to keep these isolation booths alive. If there isn't and teachers question them, then well, uh, yeah, it's going to be a waste of resources. Another thing that seems to happen is that the isolation booths can have a negative effect on a student's mental health. And is ruining some kids who are sent to the uh, isolation booths school experiences and three they usually don't work some kids are actually thinking that's pride that it's they should take in pride for being sent into the isolation booth because well it's their home it's their place it's where they know themselves the best at least according to themselves and some articles it will actually turns out into something that will think it's something to be proud of not something to be well unsure of and very very annoyed about as as if it's not a punishment and unfortunately that's not all that seems to be going on here it's time to share the results 24 percent of people think that isolation booths are should be used while 76 percent say that they shouldn't be used hooray no people everyone's almost lots of people think that no one should be sent to these booths and i'm glad that that's true because right now i have to go so until next time shnan out peace <laughs> Bum, bum.